So this is Jelinia from Tiago and Jelinia, and today I'm showing you a dancer's workout or some dancer's exercises. So hopefully you all join the Mzum Cologne Festival participant and also all the other dancers that ask me to do this. Um, it will be an explanation for you and you can do your work workout afterwards, okay? I will also write everything that I'm going to tell you now down into a PDF and the PDF will be in a link below this video, so you can access the PDF. Um, unfortunately, my dance partner Thiago cannot do the workout with me because he's a little bit ill because of his allergy, but you will find a lot of workouts in his Instagram as well, and in my Instagram there will also be more workouts, so check out our um, social media, I'm going to link it down as well. And also our PayPal, um, for a donation, so if you want to donate money to us, it will also be down below for you to find it, okay? So let's start with the workout, or actually before we start with the workout, I'm going to give you some general advices, um, because there's a lot of people asking me, Julia, how can I train my body for dancing so my body um, performs better while dancing? So most of you know I'm not only a dance teacher, I have also been a personal trainer for um, couple of years and I'm still doing personal training. So in this video I try to combine both, okay? So before we start with a workout, I wanted to make clear um, the basics of your fitness training, okay? So you all dancers, so all of you should know the importance of basics. So for example in Zoom, before you can start doing any head movements, you start first with your basic footwork, okay? You have to learn your basic footwork before you can learn your head. And it's the same in fitness, okay? Before you do any fancy whatever workouts, I would always, always, always recommend to you to learn the basics, okay? So you should do squats, lunges, deadlifts, pull-ups, push-ups, rowing, um, and so that's the basics of resistance training, okay? You should master this and do resistance training actually with weights if possible for you um, to get yourself a good foundation, okay? And everything else, all this fancy workout stuff, is coming on top of that basic foundation, okay? Another recommendation would be to try to do sprints and plyometric training. You can also find workouts at Jago's account. And do yoga, so you can find yoga at my account. And do neuroathletic training and of course uh, your nutrition, okay? All this is key for your health and for your body to be able to perform while dancing, okay? So, that's the prequel, what I wanted to tell you before. Let's jump to the workout today. What do you need to do for the workout? You don't need anything, okay? So, it will be a body weight training, blah, blah, blah. If you have resistance bands, um, thermal bands, kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever, get it, and a yoga mat as well. This one is from Mantra Fund. So, super beautiful yoga mat. If you have this, then that's amazing, um, take it with you for the workout. Okay, workout, let's go. Okay, let's start with the warm-up. It's always important to have a warm-up beforehand. What I do is a warm-up that's a little bit more complex for the coordination and also gives you already a little stretch, okay? We're going to start first with the sumo squat. I'm going to show you the exercise first and then I'll explain to you. Okay, watch one time. So for the sumo squat, you will have a shoulder wide stance, legs straight. Try to touch the ground if possible, if not, no problem. Then you will sit down in your squat, heels on the ground, knees out, both hands on the ground, straight back. You will lift the right arm, the left arm as far as you can, try to rotate, open the chest, and then straighten the knees, squat, right arm, left arm. I'm going to show you from the side, so exercise, you can do it with me already if you want. Straight legs, try to touch the ground, sit in the squat, heels on the ground, open the right side and left side, open the chest without moving your hips. Straighten the knees, squat, right arm, left arm, straight, squat, right arm, left arm. So as this is a workout, a warm-up, sorry, as this is a warm-up, there's no need to do it super and slowly because the purpose is not mainly stretching, 
but warming up your body as well and mobilizing your body, okay? So you don't have to go super fast and also don't go super slow. Do this exercise for one minute, okay? This is the sumo squat. Next exercise is one of my favorites. It's the perfect stretch. It looks like this. The perfect stretch. You will start, I will show you first and then you can do along. You will first go each left leg, right foot right to your hand, and then you will again open the chest, close with your elbow to the ground, open the right arm, elbow to the ground, have your long leg straight, completely straight, the knee of the bent neck goes to the outside. Okay? the other side we can do already together I will show you from the front we'll go into a plank left foot right next to your left arm this knee goes to the outside the other leg is straight okay and now you open your left side as far as you can and bring the elbow down to the ground open the left side down to the ground open down try not to move the hips too Okay. If you cannot go completely to the ground, it's fine if you just go until here, wherever you can, okay? Don't hurt yourself. Just go until where you can. Very good. Okay. Do each side for 30 seconds. Okay? Then let's move on to the next one, which would be the crawling. Oh, no, sorry, the lunges. Let's do lunges. I'm going to show you the exercise first, okay? You will do a lunge back, both knees bent, knees are over your ankle, and you will open the arms as much as possible without going into a bent back, okay? Your back stays straight. Okay, you stand up, other leg. Open, stand up, okay? Let's do this one together. You will have your right leg free. Go back, open your arms, elbows in front of your hands, and close. Open and close. Engage the core because you want to have a straight back. And open, close. Try to push the front knee to the outside, and it should be above your ankle and not above your toes. This is too far, okay? Back. And open, close. Engage the core, navel. In. Okay, do this exercise as well for one minute. Those three exercises, sumo squat, perfect stretch and lunges, are my favorite exercises for the warm-up. Those three and get done with your warm-up, okay? Perfect. Drink some water and then we go to work out. Some little water. balance 
with all the muscles behind, so also your butt and your back. If you have dumbbells or a kettlebell, I will show you the exercise with a kettlebell, it's much better because your glutes, your butt, is super strong. So you can definitely use this. If you have a kettlebell, you can do exactly the same exercise. You lift one leg, go back, bring the kettlebell to the ground, hips square to the ground, engage the core, come up, engage the glutes. The standing leg can be slightly bent. Okay, and you will feel how much your ankle has to work to stabilize you and how much your butt also has to work to squeeze, bring your weight up. This can also be, it doesn't have to be a kettlebell, it can be a dumbbell, it can be any weight you have, okay? First exercise, one leg deadlift. The next one, I'm so sorry, will be a plank, okay? Any plank variation. I'm going to show you some plank variations. Um, plank is obviously good for your core and for your stability. So whatever movement you do, which um, needs you to engage the core, the plank will help you. Okay? So I'm going to show you different variations. A beginner's variation would be to start in this four stance. Your toes on the ground and you just lift a little bit your knees and try to pull your elbows and your knees together and stay like this. So this would be the first easy variation. Then you can go a little bit more back with your legs to progress or go in a complete plank. With a plank, always make sure not to have this position, okay? You want to bring your navel in, your belly button in, and your hips to the front. Engage the glutes, engage the core. You can also go to this variation, or if you want to have a little bit more advanced variation, you can jump in the plank to the side or to the front. Okay? So there's a lot of difficult variations for you to do, but make sure to do the plank exercise even though it's annoying as hell, okay? I also hate it, but that's a good sign. Do it for 40 seconds, one minute if you can, you can do longer. Okay? So, one leg deadlift, legs. Next one is going to be rowing, okay? For the rowing, you actually need some weight or you need a resistance band. Without anything, rowing is not really making sense, okay? But you can have any weight. It can be your water bottle, have to be a, different, a hard water, a heavy water bottle, but can be, okay? I'm going to use my resistance band. And what I'm going to do is I stand in the middle of the resistance band. I bend forward, straight back, belly button in. And I reach down until my band is already having a little bit of tension. So it won't be floppy. Already a little bit of tension. Okay? And what I'm doing, I bring my shoulders back. And now I bring my elbows behind my body, staying close to my sides. I don't want to open, I stay close to my sides down and up and bring my shoulder blades together at the very top of the movement, together, okay? Elbows close to the body, always make sure your shoulders are back and down and bring your shoulder blades together. There are also other variations, you could do this variation, it's actually more rotation exercise but could also be, okay? So the rowing is a super important exercise as well for your frame and for your upper back, okay? Everything you need to, every movement you need to engage your lats and protect your frame, this exercise is super helpful. You can also do it with weights. If you have weights, for example, you could do the exact same exercise. I could do only one side, okay? So, different possibilities for you as well 40 to 60 seconds of this exercise next one will be uh, leg raises okay leg raises will be great for your external rotation what i mean with external rotation is this okay when we dance we through almost all dances I know, and I know a lot of them, okay? 
want to keep this external rotation, for example, while turning or while stepping, okay? You don't want to have your feet like straight. You want to keep them externally rotated, okay? And to practice this, I'm going to show you an exercise. You will lie down on your mat and you will lift your leg and rotate to the outside. So this should actually be quite easy. So you have two possibilities. You can either keep on doing this for a lot of repetitions or you can put some weight on top of your leg and do the exercise with the weight or you can use a mini band around your knees and do the exercise with the mini band, okay? So these will really train glutes and the external rotators in your glute, okay? Obviously do both sides, each side 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds, okay? First exercise. Let's get to the fifth. Fifth one is going to be Russian twist. I guess most of you know this. So the Russian twist is an exercise that will help you with rotation and anti-rotation. So for a lot of movements, we need rotation to help us for turns or to help us to control our bodies. For example, in Zook already lateral or counterbalances, we need to have these oblique muscles, okay, to help us with a lot of exercise, with a lot of movements. Okay, so for the Russian twist, I would recommend you to use some weight as well, okay? You can also do it without, but like, not fun without weights, okay? So, you can leave your heels or your foot on the ground, or you can lift your feet, whatever you prefer. Lay back a little bit, and then you can rotate from one side to the other. You can also do it without weight, lifting the legs. The variation that I want you to do, if your back feels fine to do this, I want you to do this quicker, okay? So as soon as you arrive, I want you to come back quickly because we also want to train those um, quick uh, movements, okay? So Russian twist for you, fifth exercise. Let's go to the last one, maybe the hardest one, okay? So last one is going to be the ice skater. One of my favorite exercises because afterwards your butt really hurts. The ice skater is this movement I'm going to show you. You jump to the side, you bend your front leg and the leg behind stays in the air. And you also bend a little bit to the front and you can reach with a diagonal arm to the foot. So right foot, left arm, left foot, right arm. Okay, like this. This is the first variation. The second variation is jumping to the front and the back, front, back, front, oops, back, change of the legs, front, back, front, back. I love this exercise because jumping exercise in general is super nice for you. We always need the strength from our legs to push from the ground for all actually every step that we're doing, okay? So sometimes we have to do a bigger step and we really need the strength of our legs. Also for the turns, we need strength of the legs, okay? So this is an excellent exercise and all exercise that's for jumping. So I'm going to show you one more time from the side, okay? So I bend the standing leg, reach down with the diagonal hand and the three legs in the air, jump. To make it easier, you can also put your free leg down to the ground. It makes it a little bit easier. And the other variation to the front or to the back, front, back, front, back. Also, it's a cardiovascular training, this one. And don't forget to change the legs. Back, front, back. Okay? Ice skates. Obviously, if you have knee problems, you can do this one also without jumping. 
but that's without the fun, okay? <laughs> so, I skated one of my favorite exercises, and also the last one, yay! Okay, you now got six exercises, each one 30 to 60 seconds, break 20 seconds in between the exercises, two rounds. So now after, if you've seen this, do another round of it, and then don't forget to drink some water. Those ice skaters always kill me. Okay, perfect. Now that we've done our workout, our strength and conditioning training, we're going to do stretches, obviously. I'm just going to show you my three favorite stretches, obviously, as dancers. It's important for us to keep our flexibility and mobility. We already did a little bit of it in the beginning. And now we're going to go to traditional stretches. And of course, you can add more if you want. I just want to show you my favorites. First is the frog sit, okay? I'm going to show you from the front and now from the side for the frog sit. Open your knees as far as you can. Keep your heels in line with your knees on the ground. Put them on the ground. Then you go to your forearms and push yourself back as far as you can without hurting. I'm going to show you the position from the side. It's a strength position, I know. Okay. Go down, push yourself back. Okay. So this stretches the adductors. And what we're going to do now is we hold this stretch and then we press with the knees into the ground. Really strong tension, 10 seconds. We'll release the tension and go a little bit more back. Move a little bit. You can try to open the knees a bit more, maybe, or open the feet. Push again into the ground. Tension. Tension. Ah, release and put yourself back. Okay? So you can hold this exercise, this stretch position for 30 to 60. Next one is for your chest and also great exercise for your rotation of your thoracic spine. It looks a bit strange again, but all people that trade with me know that my exercises always look strange, okay? It's a scorpion. So I'm going to show you from the front and then from the side again. From the front, you want to lay down, have your arms in this V shape, okay? So elbows in shoulder height, and then you bring your right leg to your left elbow as far as you can. With the right hand, you can push the ground a little bit to stretch your chest, hip flexor, abdominals, and change the sides. Right arm lays down, left foot go to the right elbow. And then you like keep, you hold it for 15 seconds, then you change. Okay, I'm going to show you from the side. Lay down, elbows in V shape, right foot to the left elbow. And change. So I keep holding for 15 seconds normally, and then I change and I do it completely for one minute. Okay, so this was a scorpion, the last one is the hip flexor stretch, okay? So you go into a lunge position, but your back knee stays on the ground. What you try to do now is you really want to have your hips sitting down as much as possible. Now try to engage as well the glutes on the sides of the behind legs. So for me, it's the right leg is behind, and then I also engage the right glutes. Very good. Try to engage them as firmly as possible, a lot of tension. Release the tension and go a little bit more into the strength that is possible. Very good. You can also put your foot to your butt if possible. Just go as far as you can, okay? And to the other side as well. So engage the glutes, go down as much as you can with the hip, bring your hips to the front, engage the glutes as much as you can, tension, tension, tension. Release the tension and then you can maybe go down a little bit more. And you can pull your heel to the butt if possible. Only go as far as you can, okay? 
And again, each side 30 to 60 seconds. Perfect. So that was it from me. So I hope you liked the workout. I hope you understood all the exercises. All of those exercises are to help you perform it better in dancing. But remember, do your basics as well. Do normal squats, normal lunges, everything else, okay? So if you have any questions, you can write me in the comments and then I'll be happy to answer you. And remember, if you want to donate money for us, you can donate to our PayPal, BrazilianDanceClub at gmail.com. And remember to follow us in our social media, Thiago and Julinha, Brazilian Dance Cologne. I am Julinha Johan, that's my social media. You can find Thiago with Thiago Movimentos. And um, yes, I hope I could make your day a little bit better, even though our Cologne Zoom Festival cannot happen this year. But we already have a date for the next year, which is the Eastern 2021. Okay, it's the 1st to the 6th of April. And I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.